couple more guys at the junior senior level, but plenty of freshmen and sophomores for them as well. There's a blitz off the end. Payne trying to get it away to Brubeck quickly. At, with the pressure too much from Danny Morales coming in from the secondary. You know, I hear myself saying the word speed a lot tonight. And Danny Morales has got some serious speed. I mean, I've seen the kid, the guy open up and run. And it is, it's impressive. It's... It, he, he, there's, a, there's another reason that he is one of the preseason All-Americans. He's, he's that level of player with that level of speed. Fifth in the PFL last spring in tackles. Now Payne going wide in the pass, pass that by 50 plus yards in the first half. And we'll begin the second half with the ball. Kick by Liam Depp is back. And here's Danny Morales on the return. Morales, the nice return all the way up near the 35 yard line. And that's where the Bulldogs will take over. And In motion, here's R.J. Fitzgerald now. Okay, he's going to give it off to Isaiah Fonse, who picks up a couple of yards before there's a little bit more. McCutcheon and uh, and Willie Patterson out over to the right. McKay now will give it off over to Isaiah Fonse. They read that one right to a T. Dropped for a loss on the play, a two-yard loss. In fact, will bring up down fourth down at five yards needed, and it appears the field goal unit is going to come out after Danny Morales, the free safety, read that and came to play it down. And a catch, and then the following play is, is unselfish and blocking for his teammate, escorting him into the end zone. So they'll return it out of the end zone. This time will Drake, and uh, not much going. Tackled down to the 15-yard line. That time is number 32, Danny Morales, bringing it out. The 5'11", 180-pound senior sent down, and a flag does come out. Matt McKay, he'll give the handoff to Afonso, who slips through a gap this time and gets a five-yard pickup. He's still turned to the feet, and ends up bringing up third down and a yard still line, trying to get good field position after the on-sportsman line. He'll be fielded over at the 12-yard line, now bringing it out, crossing across the middle, and getting over to the 30-yard line before being met by the Bobcats. Drake will start with the ball. Out of the gun now, they'll fake the handoff to the first man, but Kutchin's going to keep it around the left side edge. They do a little double reverse that time, and it's down over to the 10-yard line. A nice little pickup that time on, on uh, first down, and it brings up second down and six more yards needed for that first down with the ball at the 9-yard line. Once again, trying to get the ball on the edge, a little end around reverse. Danny Morales for Drake was not fooled and stayed home and make a good tackle in space. Brand new set of stakes. Jake Smith spread out over to the left, and it's two receivers over to the right. Adding to his left will take it. He'll fake the handoff and throw it over to Jaden Smith this time. And Smith is going to have a first down reception. A 10-yard pick of that time on first down before Danny Morales brings it back. So there's a, a run play call in the huddle. It's up front. And if the quarterback likes what he sees on the outside, he's going to pull it. Uh, Elijah Elliott in the backfield this time with uh, with quarterback Matt McKay they're going to the crosser across the middle and it is incomplete intended for Derek Snell that time he was kind of in double coverage across the middle of that formation yeah he tried to fit it in the window there I don't know if that was the best throw um, good coverage there and staying home and staying disciplined there in the zone for Drake trying to jump that pass a little bit with Morale. Drop back, he's looking left, he'll throw it over to Smith, and this one's got to be caught at the 45. He's not working his way, and he's going to be stopped. Now it's upcoming, as Danny Morales was the one to stop him as soon as he caught it. Again, that's been a similar theme, passing game-wise. Some of those seven to eight-yard hitches... Fills in a left guard. Here's the handoff. Michael Benefield gains about four. He will hand it to Michael Benefield. Trying to make his way around the edge. And he'll get pushed out initially with the reverse to A.J. Deinhardt. He's got some wheels. Lowers the shoulder. And he'll gain just three yards. Here's Brett Bushka on the draw. Bushka got popped after a five-yard gain. Bushka. He's got some pressure. Escapes one tackler, and he'll launch this one out of bounds. Boy, free hot dog blitzer are in motion. Bushka's going to keep it himself. Got a lane. Right side. Launches one. That was a laser beam to Austin Schwantz, broken up by Danny Morales, who Drake is very, very pleased to have back. Very, very pleased. 
And you just saw how effective he is coming from the middle of the field all the way out to about the numbers to make that play. Broke it up and when they're in that cover three kind of shaded look, he's the one that's going to have to determine, okay, I need to go now. There's no deep receivers. He doesn't have any time to think. He, no. He's just going out. He's just going Goes Back going. to pass. Finds Dinehart. Great focus and concentration by A.J. Dinehart to gain. Fakes it to Dinehart. Looking for some space, and he's brought down by the closing safety, Danny Morales. Hearing that name quite a bit today. Talk to the radio guys, the Varsity Network for Drake, Chuck, and Ryan. They both emphasized how impactful having their captain back is in the back, in the defensive backfield. He's just a ball hawk. Like wherever the ball is going to be, you know he's either going to be in on the play or right there. A, a, a great guy to have. Back. Quick pass out to Yogi Flogger again. That's going to be a first down, a little bit more. To end the third quarter, he was even if he was unsure, he still had his toes on the line. Bushka backed up. He's going to launch this one to Flogger, and that looks like a pass interference again. He he stopped his ability to get to a ball, didn't make a play on it, but not called. Danny Morales on the coverage. Whether or not it was, no call was made. Big third down here, a quick hitter out wide. It's caught short of the first down. It comes from is, is in those important positions as Chisholm is brought down in the backfield by the senior for the Bulldogs, Danny Morales. I can tell you Drake's happy to have Danny Morales back. A little bit beat up to start the season, but now that he's back, talk about someone that flies all over the field. That kid can make a play anywhere, anytime against anybody. He's a, he's a really electric, fun guy to watch. Here comes pressure off the edge. Cook throws it out wide. It's caught along the sideline. This offense in the red zone. Cook to the end zone. It's picked off. Danny Morales, and Morales takes a knee. At that point, Flyers were driving again at the end of the first half, and Morales comes up big. Yeah, Danny Morales, you don't say, but they need more. Bulldogs will begin the second half with the football. Danny Morales will take it out of the end zone, has a couple blockers. He's met at the 20-yard line, ahead to the 22, and that is where Blake Ellingson and the Bulldogs will start once again. Two. Oh, it's Cook going with the Chisholm. handoff. It is Chisholm, and Chisholm has the first down. It is not for us to reason why. Here's Chisholm breaking a couple tackles, has the first down, dragged down at the 31 yard. Second down and four from the 15. Here's Cook, he hands to Chisholm. Chisholm bouncing it outside. And another first down on first and goal. Here's Chisholm. Chisholm gets that five back. Uh, you know, San Diego, they had a good game today, but you know, obviously, if I die before I wake, if I die before I wake, pray the Lord my soul to take. Gets it off. And out to Smith, his first of the game. Derek Smith breaking tackles. And Smith down to the second down for the Toreros. 8.19 to go in the first. 3 0 Drake. 8.19 to go in the half. And out to Smith, near side. Cuts it back across midfield. And he'll take it to the Drake 48 yard line. Again, a five and a first down for San Diego. As we approach nine minutes left to go in the half, Jaron Smith moving the football for USD. Flag comes in, end around to Reed. Flag of the play as Reed crosses midfield to the 40. That's still going. Three to the right, three to the left. Reed on the end around. Here comes Jasim Reed. Blockers out in front. He's still going. Reed inside the 15 and down to the 10 yard line for San Diego. On to the fourth quarter. San Diego will have it first and 10. It's Christian Brown on the end around. And Brown will take it for five yards to the 45 yard line. That's where we start the fourth quarter. USD and Drake tied up at 10 apiece. San Diego back with possession, scoring on back to back drives, a school record. It's the end around again to Brown. Second time on the drive. And Brown will make it to the 
Second down and nine. Four. On third down. Randall fires far side. Complete. Look at it to Carter. Shire gets a gain of 12 and a first down for San Diego. On third and 10, Randall fires far side. Pass complete to Brown. And he's out of bounds shy of the first down. Got to the 40, oh, 9 left to go. Got to the 46, in fact. So where they spot this football, you know, San Diego's going to have to punt. There's Smith again for the second time. Smith with a little bit of room to the near side. Smith with a flag coming in. And he does well. Today, Pioneer Football League play returns to Poughkeepsie as the Maris Red Foxes look to defend the dead against the Drake Bulldogs from Des Moines, Iowa. Season long, as we talked about, great arm talent can make all the throws. Blitz is picked up on first and ten. Day finds Wyatt McMahon around the 15-yard line. McMahon tackled by Danny Morales. A nice shot there by Day. McMahon was a and Lysick. No hand it to Makai Johnson. And Johnson is dropped at the point of attack. Solo tackle by Danny Morales. A big stick between the hash marks. Uh, that's a great form tackle by Morales. Just nowhere for Makai Johnson to go and beat. Trying to run it up the middle. Makai Johnson, and he's able to break free to the 10. Still fighting his way out over the 20 yard. That's Lysick in motion. Play action. Day looking for Menders, but he missed him. Good coverage. Danny Morales never let Menders get to the spot. Yeah, Morales, that was really good one-on-one uh, -on -one coverage there. It was a blanket uh, over Menders. Second down and 10 for the Fox. Defenses in the PFL. Play action. Menders can't bring it in, but Drake can. It's intercepted by Jacoby. D Seven on third down so far. Cobb. Will run for it and get it down to the 35. Without yard. the services of one of their top playmakers, Ed Weir has the report on Dwayne Menders. Right, Jeff, exactly. In a game in which you're looking for chunk plays or explosiveness, uh, Dwayne Menders is not going to return. Play action. Over the middle, it's complete to Sidney Person. Person. I'm going to take a second look at it here. You see the... Nice play action in person. Hit him in stride right on the numbers. Another. That is, uh, that, that's tough. That's a lot of running for three guys. Sex hour under center hands to Adebayo, and Adebayo moves the chains in the conference. New yeah. man in at quarterback for St. Thomas. Quickness may be what brings him in here. Smith. Swings it out wide to the fullback, Nick Rice. And Rice is ushered out of bounds. It'll be third down and long. Danny Morales coming down from the safety position and filling fast. Shoulder and go with you. It's first down and 10. Here's Adebayo once again. This time he's met at the line of scrimmage. Lyndon Howe the first to meet him. And then the rest of the Here's Bulldogs. Adebayo again on the sweep. Bulldogs do a nice job of stringing it out. Max Johnson, Danny Morales all in. Yeah, so still got the job done. Leffler stays in there at running back on third down. It's play action. Sexauer going into the flats has Mo uh, Nick Rice, and Rice is inside the Bulls five. For the runs and offering some pretty good protection for the, for the passing game as well. Lewis Hyde with a short kick will be returned by Danny Morales from the five-yard line. Morales is across the 30-yard line. And that is where the Bulldogs' offense will take over once again. Ian Corwin on Hope Adebayo. Oh, and Adebayo is slow to get up. Yeah, he got hit a kick more than 50. Here's Sex Hour. Has a man wide open at the 10-yard line. It's a first down. And Juzak has same exceptions have come you know, with by rushing the throw. St. Thomas... Kicks it off and it will be Danny Morales on the return for Drake. He's across the 25, has a nice return past the 30-yard line. And we'll see 
exactly where to look. Call it the 31 yard line. That's where really called them out and challenged them for the second half. The previous two drives out of Drake and St. Thomas, a pass across the middle is knocked away. Danny Morales playing that free safety position comes up with the big hit on Juzak. Negative 15 yards total. We'll take another look at this play by Morales. Also has the football inside Drake territory and a seven point lead. Handoff up the middle, it is Rice. Rice with a big carry, big collision between Rice and Rogers. Right on the shoulder, back to that 14 point difference that we were at uh, before, before at halftime. Danny Morales will return from the 10 yard line. Morales at the 30 yard line, gets the sideline. Another good return by Danny Morales. He's had a couple this game. And Drake's set up with pretty good field position, position around the 43 yard line. Solid return by Danny Morales here. Follows his blockers, hits the seam, and told the kicker, nice try. You're gonna go, you got me out of bounds, but I'm not going down. And take off a bunch of time. Bulldogs need to try to find a way to pull that ball out. As Nick Rice with letting it drain down. Dolan will throw it here on second down and long. Throws out wide to Rice, who's been so active in this game, and a big collision between Rice and Morales one on one. Been a couple. You know, third down and four now. Gonna bring up a third down for the Tommy. Good run by Rice. Nice, nice attempt at a stick from Morales. That's just, Danny will never back down from a tackle. Rice just has a little bit of size and he had a little bit of momentum on him there. He stopped him from getting the first down. It's third down now. He did his job. Yeah, Danny held his ground. That was an impressive tackle with all that momentum going. Colosimo fakes the give, and now it's a pitch over toward the sideline. Harris Hillier on to kick it away. The return for Drake gets them about a quarter of the way up on fourth and three. Going to the air again this time. Hillier locks him. It's exactly what you want if you're a Davidson fan, and it's the perfect start. You establish the outside run. When Drake is privy to it, you hit him on the reverse. Danny Morales on the return. Two out of the ordinary, often by design. Fakes the give to Sparks, pitches to Eli Turner, and he's driven out of bounds. Colosimo pitches this time. Turner Jr. helped Davidson looking to go 5-0 and oh on the season. At their home field here, the kick back to Danny Morales. Labors his way. 21 to nothing. Colosimo fakes the give to Turner. Looking to air it out in that middle zone. Again, looking for Staples. And it's knocked away. So Dylan Sparks will run it now for Davidson. Or he fakes the run. Colosimo with the keeper there. Maybe chip away at it, and then you hit him up the gut. A couple of yards added to that spot, and now Sparks bulldozes his way. 5-0 on the year, two and a half minutes to play in the first half. And Bonofsky kicks it away. Here's Morales again on the return for Drake. This time, streaks past the 30. Gets a block up the field into Wildcats territory and is pushed out of bounds. This will be the best beginning field position for Drake all day long. Drive in that way since early in the first quarter even morales on the kick return gets down the sideline tight rope walking before he cuts in and gets near midfield that is another good return for morales morales has made numerous good returns he's done well to establish an edge down the sidelines but yeah to your point one of the two a touchdown Alessimo fakes a handoff, pitches to Eris Hilliard, who has been a lot quieter in this second half. On for the kickoff as well, Danny Morales. A lot of action and some good kick returns so far today. 
Floats over to the sideline and is knocked out of bounds near the 40. That's another good return and good starting field position again for the Bulldogs. Morales has really kept this Drake offense afloat. They've struggled to really go all the way downfield on proper drives from the 20, but Morales has situated them in good spots to give them shorter fields to work with. And the home team, nothing left to do but finish out the remaining time on the clock. Banofsky with the kick, Danny Morales. Another good return for Drake, gets it past the 30. That's been a bright spot for them. He's been really good in the return game. Unfortunately, though, the Bulldogs just haven't been able to do much with favorable field position offensively. Morales has rarely been brought down inside his own 30 as they throw a flag. And in the safety spot as well, it's been pretty solid today. 